I noticed there's a lot of kids in attendance here um, this year. Oh, jackpot. I'm looking for a car that's been tricked out to look like an ice cream truck. You know, with colorful pictures of ice cream treats. And it plays a tune that's fun for the young children. And for some of the kids who maybe saw some nudity here, maybe saw some twerking, what do you think about that? Well, I suppose it's about trying new things, sampling the sweet and the savory, not being afraid to take everything life wants to throw up on in tonight. What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quarter, and I hope you're having an absolutely wonderful day. If you are, it always helps me out if you smash that like button. And if you haven't yet, please do subscribe or follow down below. I've got kind of, um, I'm trying to work a little bit more to make my videos a little more interesting, add a little more meat to them without making them too much longer, trying to make them a little more interesting. So I hope that I can achieve that um, as opposed to talking about a single article for 12 minutes. I think, I think that's a good thing. Like if you agree. Anyway, Walmart, uh, Pride Month is upon us. The, the tornado is coming. In only seven days, all of the uh, corporations, except for ones that are located in, um, you know, Arab countries, will change their logos to rainbows. Um, and then for 30 days, they'll pretend they care about gay people just to sell themselves. It's called rainbow capitalism. Uh, and I support it just as long as people don't actually think they give a dang about that community. Well, last year, if you remember, there was a massive boycott massive, um, that centered around target to give you kind of the TLDR, the short, like the overview of last year's backlash. It came down to this. There has been innumerable. I mean, pride month has been a thing like my Dylan Mulvaney doll, by the way, she would like it if, Oh, Dylan would really like it. If you liked the video anyway, um, you know, pride month is a thing. I don't care. I'm not offended by it. I've never been offended by it. It's, it's not for me. I don't care. Um, as long as I can like get around my life and get around without being, you know, having it crammed in my face because there is no straight pride month, which there should be, by the way. Um, you know, if there's a gay pride month, right, it's only fair. I'd like August. I think August would be awesome for straight pride. It's like kind of the money shot month in the Midwest for weather. Uh, so yeah, how about August? Anyway, um, they rolled out pride like any other month. And except this time, they had pushed it a little too far. F people were fine with pride t-shirts and pride this and pride that, pride koozies and mugs and hats. All this was fine. However, Target decided it, they were going to uh, have tuck-friendly swimsuits. They were going to have products that were targeted towards kids. And the backlash was swift and brutal. You know, live and let live people like myself had finally had enough. It's like, okay, I don't care if you have, you sell rainbow mugs or weird cringe gay puns or whatever to sell them stuff. That's okay. But you know, when you start targeting kids and you start, um, having tuck friendly, when you know, people were like, we've, we've let it go too far. So this is from that initial backlash target reports. First quarterly sales drop in over six years after pride month disaster. Target said its quarterly sales fell for the first time in six years. This is the, what happened last year leading up to this. As a result of customers' negative reaction to its spring pride clothing that featured tuck-friendly swimwear, that is um, a swimsuit so a guy can hide his junk and pretend he's a woman, um, and LGBTQ-friendly gear for infants and childs. Like, the best case... Keep like the people that give people the best benefit of the doubt could say, Oh, it's just for people buying for their kids. They got family members, whatever. But people had said, nah, dude, that's too much. I don't want to see onesies. I don't want to see gabies, uh, onesie stuff. Right. So sales at the store and digital channels open for the, uh, last open for at least a year. were off by 5.4% from the year earlier. So it worked. It was an effective boycott. People were going into the store and dunking on them. Alex Stein was going viral, putting on the swimsuit. Everything was great. You know, the only thing I didn't agree with, obviously, was, you know, giving employees the business because they obviously don't have anything to do with it. You know, you just work there. You're not picking which items go on. So the backlash got so bad that Target ended up pulling a bunch of the Pride stock, hiding it in the back of the stores. And then it was so bad that this year, 
Target basically said, we're not carrying it anymore. That's what, I mean, literally, Target was like, nah, player, we're good. We got pummeled into oblivion last time. We're cool. We're not even going to carry it. We don't want extra uh, trouble. We don't want extra drama. We're just good on all that. I don't care if they want to carry ball caps, pride ball caps, or whatever this kind of stuff. Just stay away from the kids. It is a totally reasonable thing that most people, even in the LGBTQ community, agree with. But some woke weirdo decided to push too far and they got punished. This year, they're out completely, right? People are just like, nah, I don't want, um, I'm proud of you always, bibs for infants. That's too much. It's too much. It got unchecked. We let stuff go on too long. Us, I'm including myself. It was my fault. I should have called it out earlier, but they kept calling people phobic. And then we gave them too much. Uh, we gave them too much leash. And so we had Chuck friendly swimsuits and that got squashed, right? Walmart, uh, which has been uh, reaping much of the benefits because for the most part, they were untouched by the controversy. Now, Walmart sells plenty of pride stuff. They always have over the years, except not for kids, which I think, again, most people are fine with, except now we had this. Walmart hasn't read the room. We don't want you queering our kids and our culture. Uh, you know, I, I don't know exactly. You can see as Target now has said they're only putting pride sections up in select stores and dumbing down kids pride products Has Walmart taken the opposite position. Walmart had pride sections in years past, but not in the children's section. Oh, by the way, they do. And I have pictures of that, uh, which I'm going to show you. Uh, they're going to have, they have pride stuff in toy, in the toy section for kids. Um, you see this Ollie London, Walmart launches a new pride always collection to push LGBTQIA plus plus LMNOP ideology. As part of the collaboration, the retailer has launched products, including a beyond gender notebook. One of the LGBTQ Designer said, I'm very excited to use it with my kids. And yeah, I'm, I'm not going to bury this part. Here's a picture of pride merchandise in the toy section. All right. Again, is it a bit of a stretch? Would, would 2011 Jeremy, would 2020 Jeremy say, ah, it's wherever, wherever they put the whatever. Yeah. But now I'm punished, Jeremy. I was punished last year by, by giving the benefit of the doubt and we have it in the toys. It's literally in the toy section. This is Barbie dolls right here. And here's a pride uh, kiosk. And then there's pride squish models. Are squish models still a thing? Uh, they were popular for like a second, right? Um, you see this like, hey kid, want to change your gender? Says target dog emerging from clothes rack. I mean, it's, it's, it's real. They're really putting it in the toy section. Now, I'm not saying you have to put it behind be a beaded door and have people checking ID, but I mean, have some idea of uh where you're putting it so here's the video then that they put out we're going to take a look at their merchandise too in a second pride always i feel like it's not just a slogan it's that sense of community at the oh end of the day. sense of community okay, okay really really grateful so introducing our pride always tommy from zaddy earth right a little bit of happiness not Hello. not gay okay collection it was important to me here here's a notebook for kids that says beyond gender. Again, is it the worst offender I've ever seen? No, but I don't, I'm no longer giving weirdos the benefit of the doubt. I can't. I have been punished repeatedly for doing that. So you have Positive the beyond gender stuff. Um, choosing a favorite piece is sort of like choosing a favorite child feels. Why do they, why don't they have any regular looking LGBT people, by the way? Why are they all like the caricatures? Like I, every gay person I know dresses like anybody else, but they get these like people. I mean, okay, I guess these, well, these people aren't, you know, this, this individual is wearing a corduroy, corduroy onesie, um, and is practically bursting out of it around the midsection. Here's I dubs, I guess, selling it too. Um, it's, it's so wild. You know, they think they're too big and could sustain a boycott. They didn't learn from Target and Bud Light, apparently. I'm proud of my family. I'm proud of my country. But I do not have to be proud of someone else's choice. Stop shoving it down our throats. I think that, you know, that's kind of a normal reaction. Like, people are kind of like, 
yeah, go do your thing. But like, maybe don't put your stuff in the toy section and you can look again. I'm not making it up. Here's a picture. They're clearly not just there for a minute. That's where they are, right? They're, they're put in with the toys. I, I mean, this is from May 21st. This is from two days ago. You know, um, you guys are going to go after Walmart next, right? They got a whole pride collection. I actually don't care that they sell it on their website. Here you go, cancel Walmart. They have pride merchandise. Again, selling $3 pillows. <laughs> I mean, I don't care if they have pride merchandise. I know some people do, and that's okay. Um, but don't put it by the kids that don't have stuff that targets kids, and it looks like they can't stop that. You know, and you say no one has to go along with this stuff. These woke companies don't learn. Crazy, the same mistake is being made. It's not even June yet. They just can't wait. This is, again, by the way, back in May, Target will discontinue the sale of Pride Collection in most stores due to significant public backlash. Well, nobody was, nobody cared about your Pride stuff when you weren't targeting kids. Now, I don't care that Walmart's website sells a bunch of Pride stuff. That's not for kids, right? I mean, I guess, you know, you could make the argument, obviously, kids can go on the internet, kids can, you know, whatever that case may be. But, you know, ultimately, I'm less worried about this than when you're literally putting it in the toy section, which I found multiple pictures of. I just, I'm not sure exactly what, how they thought that this would go, what they, you know, what they thought this would, you know, again, you want to do a pride TikTok, that's fine. Just keep the stuff away from kids, which apparently is impossible. Challenge, difficulty, impossible. You want to have website where you have zaddy, ink meets paper, you want to have all this kind of stuff going on. I actually don't care. It's on your website. You got to buy it with a credit card. Kids aren't really shopping the Walmart website very much. Fine. <laughs> They're still trying to push this Elliot Page thing. Elliot Page is not happy. I don't care how many times you try to tell me she is or they are. I, I, <laughs> Elliot Page is not happy. That person looks deeply unhappy. So you want to sell this stuff? That's fine. But queer people have magic. Walmart now announces new pride collection. Here's another one. Walmart Pride Selection really went from a whole aisle to this tiny box. So they have they they have taken basically the smallest possible section that they could, and they still couldn't help themselves from targeting kids. They still couldn't help themselves. So you know what? If people boycott them, if people get pissed off about this, I, I mean, I understand exactly why. Keep it out of the toy section. Stop targeting kids. I guess that's impossible. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like on it. If you haven't yet, please do subscribe or follow down below and we'll talk to you again real soon.